Hi, welcome to my podcast, Talking Travel with Wendy. I travel the globe interviewing really cool people in small hospitality and tourism businesses. Join me each week as I discover and share something or someone new with you. You can find more at www.travelwithwendy.net. And remember, it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy. Today's podcast is on location in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. Meet my new friend, Chris Richardson, co-owner of this fabulous resort and restaurant, Sandcastle on the Beach in historic Frederickstead. Chris loves his island, and most of all, he loves sharing all its beauty from placid beaches to impeccable sunsets. You'll see why this destination quickly becomes a favorite with visitors who return year after year. So get ready to book a flight and your stay at Sandcastle on the Beach. Thanks so much for joining us here today for Talking Travel with Wendy. I'm here with new friend Chris Richardson, co-owner with Ted Bedwell of Sandcastles on the Beach in St. Croix. I'm on location in Frederickstead, <laughs> historic Frederickstead. So Welcome to St. Croix. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Chris, I'm so happy to be here. And your place is amazing. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you. so awesome. We've been in love with it for a long time, so yeah. I appreciate you saying that. A paradise on earth. <laughs> absolutely absolutely so how did you get here how did you get to the it's, island it's it's kind of a funny story we were uh, in 1998 we came to st croix for just a vacation just on christmas eve okay and we were supposed to stay in a property on the east side and when we arrived there was a mix-up and so they didn't have our names reservations that they, they didn't have anything and they were sold out oh, gosh. so we were a little bit panicked and started uh, looking around and this hotel had one room available okay. and so we took it and uh, it was late in the evening we had not, not even seen the property we just were just grateful to have a place to lay our head we get up in the morning and we walk out and we looked at this beach and this water that we are so privileged to be a part of now every day and we were like oh my god this is amazing yeah. <laughs> so the hotel itself was was in poor condition at that time it was just you know it just needed needed a lot of work and updates and there was just a magic about this spot that we fell in love with we just kept coming back ted is a flight attendant so we fortunately have gotten to go a lot of places but we just kept coming back to this tiny spot it just really held a magic for us personally yeah and uh, it did it truly <laughs> did and you know we met a lot of folks that had been coming here every year for many years many many years we met one last night and in it's hole. it's amazing isn't it it's amazing <laughs> he said he's been coming here for 30 years yes exactly <laughs> That being said, we came for 18 years in a row prior to us buying it. So being able to go a lot of different places, mm -hmm. I think it speaks volumes to this little place that we really, we kept coming back because yeah. there was just something so special about it. I was a hairstylist for many years. I was never, Ted and I, neither one, were not in the hotel or restaurant industry. Okay. So we took over on New Year's Eve in 2016. Okay. And so that was just a baptism by fire. It really was <laughs> crazy. And so I don't recommend people do that. Do it on a, on a night that's not so crazy. Nine months after we purchased the property, the hurricanes Irma and Maria came. They were both Cat 5 hurricanes. Yeah, yeah. And so, again, we learned a lot. And as devastating as that was, you know, the, uh, one of the questions we often get, were, were you all, did it impact you all? Ir Irma, not so much. Irma took a lot of sand from us okay. and blew things around and kind of gave us a, a primer on how to put things away and so forth. When she blew over us, then we came out and was like, oh, this isn't so bad. So we set back up and then... Two weeks later, we had threats of Maria, and we were a little hesitant. We're like, ah, is it going to be like the other, or do we really need to do right. this? And then we said, you know, we just should. We should do that. So we did. After the hurricanes, we took advantage of that time to redo tile and, and then to completely gut rooms and yeah. do renovations. So the entire main building, the renovations are completed. So let's talk about the hotel resort that you have yeah. going here. You have so many different room options. We do. And, we do. Um, there's 25 rooms, okay. and in that 25 rooms, there's 10 room types. So that's just the nature of having you know the main building, which holds 15 rooms, five of which are sea view suites. There's one double queen studio, which has two queen beds in it. And all the the other rooms that we have on in this main building are all king size beds. Um, that's the only one that has the queens in this building. Then behind me we have beachfront villas. There's three units there. Okay. 
okay. that are quite spacious and open directly out onto the the patio onto the beach. I mean, it's just the the beach and sa yeah. the sand is right there it's in your right face. Right there, I love it. And uh, and it's just just beautiful too. Today's a really really pretty day. And then we also, at this moment, we have a two-bedroom, two-bath villa. We call it the Dolphin Villa. Okay. Uh, we do have plans for that coming up. I don't have it on the calendar just yet, but hopefully t more toward the end of this year, we will be taking that, adding on to it, some okay. bathrooms onto it, and actually dividing that into three rooms. It'll be two king standards and then a really nice, we haven't named it yet, it'll be a double king suite. So oh, nice. it'll have two king bedrooms oh, with yeah. their own bathrooms yeah. all in one yeah. room. So <laughs> couples that want to vacation together and that kind of thing is really what that's all about. So uh, the best thing to do, we try to keep our website updated. Sure. Um, ju we're just now adding 360 tu tours okay. to our, each room, at least each room type. and definitely a view for each individual room That's too because awesome. like i said i want to be transparent i don't want you to get room 204 and because the the view is slightly different from room 208 i want you to see yeah. that view and it's just the nature of our building i can't change that part <laughs> yeah. uh, and i don't want to yeah. cut down these beautiful palm trees no, in order no, to no, no. to get a little more ocean space they are growing up so we'll get well, there eventually when you're this close <laughs> within walking that, exactly that must be. well that's our hope we want the rooms to be incredibly comfortable yeah. but we really think that you'll you're coming for our beautiful right. water right. and beach right. and uh, we don't anticipate that you're going to be in your room a whole and, lot and no the beachfront villas and the cv suites yeah. also have uh, fold-out sofas and ac and every room is has <laughs> ac all of our rooms have a minimum at least a minimum of a microwave mini fridge and coffee maker okay. so if they don't have a kitchen they at least have that we also provide uh, you know little things like coolers in your room so yeah. that you can take those to the beach of course we have ice machines on the on the property yeah. for, so you can take care of your own beverages when you need to we of course have our bar and restaurant here yeah but if you don't want to go out right. and you want to make something quick because you absolutely. just want to enjoy the sunset absolutely for, yes or, um, in the mornings, we do have a coffee service at, at our front desk, and we also have a, a, a complimentary continental breakfast okay. that includes things like hard-boiled eggs, uh, cheese, local baked goods that we utilize okay. a local bakery every day that brings okay. in, uh, it's a local bread called TD Bread, okay. and we also have raisin buns and coconut drops that they make. Yeah. Uh, we have fruit and uh, juices. On check-in too, we have rum punch kits. I personally don't drink, so there's a fruit punch there, or yeah. so you don't have to use the rum mini that comes with it, or you can make your own rum a punch. Cocktail. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to still be a part of the fun of a, a really curated drink. Yeah. So we have on our menu, we also have mocktails, which are drinks that are without alcohol, I love them. but are still creative yes. and still have fun ingredients and so that you're not left just having iced tea or a club soda. You have yeah. options My to have something different. My favorite is the different. cucumber gimlet. It's delicious, it's isn't so it? Delicious. It is really good so, and uh, creative. Cucumber lime. Yes, and it's all muddled and has some club yeah, soda and uh, probably a little simple syrup. It's so refreshing. And it, it's just delicious. Yeah. It and, feels and like even if you yeah. have the alcohol, you're going to replenish your stuff. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So <laughs> little things like that, little details are what is important to Ted and me, that everyone feels included yeah. and that everyone feels welcome. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. So, thank you very it's much. Great. The customer service, speaking of that, is just top-notch. I, I really mean, appreciate everyone. that. Everyone. Well, Went thank you very much. Eating here, the restaurant, and last night, and, um, you know, Rachel and Hermes. Armas. Armas. Yes. <laughs> At the front desk. Just super thank you so much. and helpful. We are so incredibly blessed to have this staff that um, we really feel we've been able to attract these great people. We've put it out to the universe, the type of people that we want to work with. Yeah and that we also want to interact with our guests because all of our staff are extensions of us, of Ted and yeah. me. You know, we try to go the extra mile. We try to give just a little more than what's expected. Yeah. So we are happy to be able to host events here, such as weddings, birthday parties, and so forth. We are a small property and we are adults only. I think that's important to oh, mention. Absolutely. No one under 16 is allowed to stay on the property. We do have day passes where people that are under 16 can come and enjoy the beach and our beach chairs and umbrellas and so forth. However, uh, due to our insurance policy, we don't allow children in our, in our pools. We decided to go 
adults only because we really felt that our audience and the people that we knew all wanted more of an adult experience and a getaway from maybe parenting the world. for a little while exactly exactly <laughs> i'm personally am not a parent but i know that often when i tell parents in particular we're adults only after they think about it a moment they're like uh, yeah that could be great just to, to get a break yeah. come here and have some some quiet i think the mission is clear. Uh, this is rest, relaxation, restoration. At restoration, yeah. that's a great word yeah. to use for, yeah. for this property. So. Uh, we really want you to feel restored, re rejuvenated, reinvigorated to, to get back and do some neat stuff. Yeah, you and know? maybe get back to parenting sometime. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It'll so, be there when you get back. And so we do host events, mm -hmm. like I was saying. The entire hotel can be rented out. It's 25 rooms, so that is a possibility. We do have a wedding event planner. If it's something super simple, then we're happy to, to take care of that ourselves. Right. But if it's a little more involved, then we have Nicole take care of, of helping you design your perfect time. Sure. And we work very closely with that. We're very involved with that process. We have a bamboo arch that I built that oh, we use yay. on, and we decorate it with shears and flower, local property flowers and shells and things like that. that cool. It's really beautiful and it's different every time because I tear it down and then we reimagine it every time. So we rebuild it every time. So it's really cool and we have this backdrop that yeah. uh, just can't be beat. I know. You can't pay for that blue. You cannot. <laughs> All those ver different variations of blue too. That's my favorite thing about it. It's just so, it's so many different different pretty turquoise colors. Um, well, for yeah. us, um, what p some of our amenities include complimentary snorkel gear for our guests and also kayaks. We have two single kayaks and one double kayak. Uh, but just up the street is a place where they you can rent jet skis. And that's another thing that I like to talk about is Ted and I, our philosophy is there's plenty for everyone. We don't need to have every little exactly. thing. We want other businesses to do well and thrive here as well. Yeah, yeah. So we do have an on-site restaurant, but we do encourage you to go and explore other restaurants. Right. There's right. a lot to offer here. I've eaten and at so. your restaurant three times. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Nine days. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad you, that I you kept I coming it. back. I love it. Well, I'm, I'm vegan vegetarian, and so it's, it's um, not hard on the island to eat that way. That's true. Because there's yeah. there are lots of but options. But if you find a place that's like exceptional, exactly. I have um, I will definitely share all my photos for that. Fantastic, <laughs> and I appreciate great. that because I'm not vegan or vegetarian, and <laughs> so you know when you're not, it's hard to think that way. It's hard to place great importance. We do have options on our menu because we realize there are people that want yeah. those options. You know, it's not something I sit and dream about. What kind of vegan dish can I put on there? And so it's nice to... And most people don't. It's okay. Right, but it's nice to, that, that you see that. And, I'm, you know, we're always open to some... You oh, know, the spicy mango options. cucumber Yeah, that's salad. pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> I, and that was, one of my, that was one of my creations. <laughs> good job. Good Thank job. you very good much. Job. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. But you also have the Terrace Bar... And that's available, so if people want to grab a drink and right, and just out sit out and watch the sunset. <laughs> we have amazing sunsets here. Really, just amazed at the colors that we yeah. get with our sunsets. And we often get green flashes on really clear days, which <gasps> is rare. But it's when the, the, on the horizon the, the sun drops just below the water level, and at that moment there's a green flash. It's really cool because everybody claps when it happens, <laughs> and everybody's so excited for something that's just you know such a cool, natural, yeah. small part of life. Absolutely. It really makes people happy to see it. Yeah, so, yeah, it's so rare. Yeah, it yeah, is. That's really awesome. cool. Yeah, you really have. Everyone says this is the best place for the sunsets. If you want to see sunsets on the island, right. you have to go down near Fredericksted Absolutely. to get it. So you have great location for that, too. We do. So great beaches, great <coughs> restaurants, shopping close by. You're near the museum, the Caribbean exactly. Museum of Arts, which has a wonderful exhibit going on. It right has now. a fantastic yeah. exhibit going on, and it's got people that really care about it. Yeah. And that I met are, it, Oh, my God, Lucian's I amazing. Know, he, so nice. His artwork, it, okay. and, it, and he keeps elevating it. Tell me about COVID and precautions coming on the island. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're really proud of the govern, government stance on how they took COVID very seriously from the beginning. St. Croix, uh, you have to wear a mask everywhere yep. here. And I think that that's been why our numbers have stayed 
so incredibly low. You do, you know, have to have a negative test or a positive antibody test to come onto the island. Mm -hmm. And there's a portal that you can easily update or input all that information into right. within five days of arrival. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people feel that that's kind of a hassle, but it keeps, it's kept us safe. Absolutely. And it's allowed us to be a destination where people can come and feel safe. Yeah. And when you're on the property, we do require that everyone wear your mask when you're, basically when you're standing, if you're not sitting, then we, then we ask you wear a mask. Yeah. It just and, and, and I have felt safe this whole week on the island, just everywhere because everyone has a mask going in and out right. of restaurants, in and out of shops. Right. And most of the shops have their doors wide open and it is airy, but right. the safety of feeling like I know that mm -hmm. we're still protected. Right. Something so. about our restaurant too, our restaurant is completely open air. We spaced yeah. things apart. We went to 50% capacity. So everyone has plenty of room. You know, we're not putting people right, to right on right top of each other. And the parties look like six is your max, it which is. is great. It is, right, right. We're trying to keep, we do have areas where we can, we can accommodate larger parties. You know, we try to do that where it's not on top of other people. Right. So certainly we have a lot of options. One thing I do want to mention, as an added layer of protection, we utilize ozone creating machines. Okay. After each checkout, Oh, wow. We clean the room and then we put that in the machine in the room and close the windows and doors and run the ozone, which uh, yeah, is proven yeah. to kill viruses and bacteria and yeah, so forth. that's wonderful. That's been, in my opinion, really effective. It just gives another added layer of confidence that we're doing everything we can. Chris, it's fabulous. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. No, I appreciate really that. Good. So when is the best time to make a reservation? Well. We, of course, encourage everyone to book direct. Yes. You know, being a small business, that really helps us out yes. if you book yeah. direct. So by booking on our website or by calling our front desk is how you book direct. Okay. You can easily navigate through our website. There's a book now button that you can go to. Okay. And everything, like I was telling you earlier, we have a gallery of pictures for each room type. Yeah. We have 360 tours that are going to be added on maybe even this week. That's coming Yay, that's very exciting. soon. I'm so excited about that because that's really going to give you a full immersion into each room. Yeah. I really believe that people start their vacation long before they with are here. Eyes. They start it with their <laughs> eyes and they start dreaming about that spot that they're going to come and sit on the beach or the room where they're going to relax. So that's why we're really trying to give you all the information that we can on our website. Sure. And we also have a beach cam that is live mm -hmm. and every day. So you can go and hit the uh, select the beach cam button in the dashboard and you can check out the beach, check what's happening beach. at that moment. <laughs> it does have a slight delay. Uh, often people will, that are staying here will call friends back and say, I'm going to wave to you on the webcam. So <laughs> so there is a, just a tiny delay, but it's still, uh, it is it's, live, it's, it's, it's live. happening. It's, it's very it's cool. Fine, it's we fine. encourage people to go and check that yeah. out. So the website is www.sandcastleonthebeach.com. It's S-A-N-D-C-A-S-T-L-E. O N T H E B E A C H dot com. <laughs> it's a long website address. <laughs> it's okay. But it's Saint Castle on the Beach. All one word. And of there course, feel free to call us. Our number is 340 772 1205. And you can also reach the restaurant if you want to make restaurant reservations okay. at 340 772 1266. Perfect. And you also are on Instagram and Facebook. We are, yes. we are. And yeah. with, we're constantly trying to, you know, add new content to both of those. We'll try to make you sick with seeing sunsets. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, that should be a bumper sticker. It should be, it should be. So I wanted to discuss some of the amenities that we have on site. We have two pools. Mm -hmm. We have one that is on the beach side. Across the street, we have our courtyard. There is um, six rooms in that courtyard. Those are all queen rooms. Four of them are queen studios and two of them we call queen kitchens. They're okay. studios with a kitchen. Okay. And that pool on that side is a clothing optional pool. We also try to be transparent and let everybody know that that's that that is there so no one's surprised if they go over and and see someone and utilizing that. Guys, and right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but that is an option too because it's an enclosed private area. Okay. And that also is another reason we enjoy being an adults-only property. Right, right. That being said, the entire property is not a nude property right, right, right. or a clothing optional property. Right. Just that space okay. is the only clothing optional yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. So Frederickstead 
is a sleepy little town. It does have the pier that, that services all of St. Croix. Uh, this is where the cruise ships pull in. Sure. It's a small town, a tiny town actually. St. Croix is the largest of all the islands in, this, in the USVI but is probably the island that is more laid back. We're very much into food here and, and we're very much into hiking, very much into just relaxing on the beach, yeah. chilling out. The locals call it Lyman. Yeah, Lyman. So, yeah, where you're just Lyman, <laughs> you're just laying about. And it's um, really, really awesome just to come and just soak yeah. that up. So the things close earlier than the states here, you know, usually around between nine and 10, it's pretty quiet. Okay. So and everybody's getting ready for that next day. Yeah. Now, that being said, you know, you can create your own good time. Yeah. Uh, and th <laughs> there are some fun things to do later in, in the evening, but um, Frederickstead itself is a you know, quieter venue. We're really happy to be a part of this community. We're really happy that we have such a, a really pretty spot yeah. that our hotel rests on. We're really grateful. It's definitely a must see, must visit destination. Thank you so Sand much. Castle on the beach. I really appreciate it. Thank you, it's been Chris, great having so you with us. Thank you. Thanks. Isn't Chris awesome? I can't wait to visit St. Croix again. Right now is a perfect time to visit with hashtag no passport required and super safe. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to support this channel, my links are below and Patreon members have benefits. So check it out. I've got more content on my website, travelwithwendy.net. And remember, it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy.